welcome to a new video. This is a very exciting video for me personally because back in February I went to Lisbon for a passion project and I made a video there called the Lisbon story. It's also on my YouTube channel so if you haven't watched it yet make sure to do so. The tile effect, puzzle effect, however you want to call it, I've never seen it before so I kind of think I created the effect, made it up. Uh, it's a pretty cool effect. I've done it fully in After Effects. It's also a bit complex, but I'll take you step by step. So hopefully you will learn something new today. And let's dive into After Effects and let's start editing. All right, we are in After Effects now. And first I will look for the part where I want the effect to start. Once that I've found that part, I'll cut the clip by pressing Shift, Command and D at the same time. Now I will duplicate the clip. Then right mouse click and go to time and click on freeze frame and drag the layer to the end of the original clip. Now duplicate this clip and rename it wall. What we're going to do is we're going to mask out a part of the wall and place it on top of the tiles. To place it perfectly on top of the tiles you probably have to adjust the mask scale and you also have to duplicate it a couple of times. Continue this process until the tiles you want to move around are perfectly covered by the wall. Then pre-compose the wall layers and then make the layer invisible. Now we have to duplicate the layer that we freeze framed nine times and rename them to every tile. This makes it way easier later on when we will mask out every tile individually and adjust the position later on. Once that we've duplicated the layers and renamed them, we're going to mask out every tile. Be as precise as possible because we don't want to see part of the wall in between the tiles. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll speed up this process. Now we will make the wall layer visible again and we will place it underneath the layers of the tiles. Adjust the wall layer by using a mask so it's only behind the tiles. Before we start with changing the positions of the tiles, we want to make the layers in 3D. If you don't see that option, go to the bottom of your screen and you will see the toggle switch and modes button. If you click on it, you are able to make your layers 3D. In this case, I made all the layers 3D, but actually you only need to make the layer of the middle tile in 3D because we want that tile to fly out of our scene. Now we are ready to set keyframes. We will set a keyframe at the beginning and then go a couple of frames forward. Then adjust the position of the tile. And the tile in the middle we want to move in 3D space. And by changing the Z position, I'll move the tile closer to the camera. And I'll play around with the position until you're happy about how it looks. And don't forget to ease in and out your keyframes to make it look more smooth. We will now adjust the position of the other tiles. I will again speed this up for the sake of this tutorial but keep in mind that when you're done with changing the positions that there's no tile in the middle because later on we will zoom in and go through the middle to reveal a new clip very important is to turn on the motion blur for all the layers you can click on a box and then drag your mouse in my case down so all the boxes are checked it will really sell the effect and make it look more realistic. Now we are ready to make the hole in the wall. We will duplicate the wall layer and pre-compose it. Then we will draw the mask where we want the hole to be. Make sure to check the inverted box which will show up when you press M on your keyboard when the clip is selected. Now delete the other part of the wall layer without a hole and then draw a mask on the original clip. You will draw the mask around the 9 tiles you have masked out. Once again, press M and check the inverted box. I need to adjust the mask a little bit, like so. And once we're done with that, we have something like this. Now select all the clips, right mouse click and pre-compose the layers. And don't forget to delete the part of the clip that we don't need. In the original clip, there's a forward motion. And I want to continue that forward motion to the layer that we freeze framed. And we can create the motion by scaling up the clip from 100 to around 110. Now we want to create the zoom that goes through the hole in the wall. But first we have to change the position of the anchor point. If you click Y on your keyboard, then grab the anchor point and place it in the middle of the hole. Now start scaling up until you only see black. You'll notice that the zoom starts very abrupt. To fix it, select both keyframes, right mouse click 
and select Exponential Scale. We are almost done. The last thing left to do is create a new adjustment layer and add an effect called Wiggle. What Wiggle does is it adds a certain movement to your shot, which is similar to handheld movement. And within the effect, you can change the intensity. So you can change the intensity of that movement. Play around with the intensity, play around with the distance between the keyframes until you're happy and satisfied with how it looks. In total, this took me five minutes to have something that I was happy with. And once you're done with the wiggle effect, don't forget to turn on the motion blur and then you're done. All the editing is done now, but before I show you the end result of the tile effect, puzzle effect, I want to say that I already put a clip behind it. It's the same clip that I used in the Lisbon story and it follows up the tile puzzle effect very good because it has the same motion. So now let's watch the effect. Okay guys, pretty cool. I hope you learned something new today and enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like the video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next. And if you have any suggestions, if you look through my travel videos and you have an effect that you would really like to see a tutorial on, please let me know in the comments and I'll make it happen. Thank you for watching.